just wanted to do a quick follow-up video to our last session and you probably noticed this is one of the photos we were working on when we were going over luminance range masking but the issue that I didn't address in that video and that I want to cover here real quickly is our perspective change you can notice because I was using a wide angle lens and shooting kind of downward that we're getting a right hand tilt to our lighthouse and there are several ways you can try to address this in Lightroom uh, one using your transformation and using your vertical tool to crank it down and bring the vertical in a little bit and when we do this we do kind of get the perspective straightened a little bit with the lighthouse we're still a little out of whack here on this little storage area but more importantly we're losing a lot of canvas here and if this foreground was real important to your photograph you'd either have to do some content aware or some other tight cropping to get this uh, photograph the way you wanted. So let's undo what we've just completed here. Uh, we also have a guided feature, which uh, you take uh, right angles, uh, but in using that, I found that really didn't get what I wanted either. So the next thing we're gonna try is that using our transform tool in Photoshop. And I use this tool a lot because I find it gives me more options to correct the perspective or the uh, aberrations in my photograph and it's very customizable. So first thing we want to do, we want to right click and we want to edit in Photoshop. All right, now we are in Photoshop. The first thing we want to do as we do just anytime we come into Photoshop is we want to make a copy of our background layer because remember Photoshop is a destructive process so we want to keep our main primary layer we want to keep that just as clean as possible so we're going to click on our background layer and we're going to hit command J when we do that we make a new layer all right I'm just going to name this transform so I can keep track of my layers the next thing I want to do is I want to I want to launch the transform tool and we do that by clicking on command T and when we do that you see we get the transform uh, brackets or the frame around our photograph. Now we're going to be using the warp feature in the transform tool and to activate that we're going to click on this little icon up here it looks kind of like a radar screen. We're going to click on it and that brings us into our transform tool. What we want to do now is to protect the area that we're going to or separate the area that we want to transform from the area we don't want to touch. And that's what these tools are for. So in this split tool, we can split our, our photograph in quadrants so that we're only affecting the quadrant that we're working in. This is a uh, vertical line which protects our warp vertically. And then we have a horizontal line which protects our split horizontally. We are going to be trying to straighten up this lighthouse. So we want to protect vertically. So we're going to click on the vertical icon. We're going to come down and you can see we have this new vertical line and I'm going to put it right here in between the lighthouse and the lighthouse keepers home. Right. This brings in more control points as you can see and we want to grab this control point and we want to bring it to the left. And we want to bring it just enough to straighten up our lighthouse and we have other control points here that we can mess with to see if we can straighten up anything else that doesn't look right. That looks pretty straight to me. Uh, this is straightened up along with it because if we move it, you can see as we move the lighthouse, it's also moving that little storage area uh, that's to the left of the lighthouse. So that looks pretty straight. I don't think anything is really out of whack. Uh, if there was something that you felt you needed to straighten up over here at this part, you could throw in another horizontal line, we'll say right here, and we could grab this part of the house and straighten up the flagpole. Right, so now we have protected our protected line here, which allows us to work on this side of the photograph. We threw in another uh, vertical line here so we could straighten up this part. So now it looks like we have a level roof, uh, we have a level white ha uh, lighthouse, and a low level storage area. We might want to try one other thing. This looks a little askew, so I'm going to grab the horizontal. I'm going to put it right down here, and I'm going to see if I can just drag this and bring that part of the lip of the lighthouse down just a little bit. That looks 
a little better, a little level. Once we have everything in place, you hit the uh, enter key or your return key, and that sets the transform in place. And we have a fairly level photograph now and a good perspective. So if I turn this layer off, layer on, layer off, layer on. So that looks a lot better than what we had in the beginning. It's just a slight bit of tilt, but it's still noticeable and it kind of detracts from the photograph when people look at it, their perspective would like to see everything up and down. So after we have all our changes in place, we're gonna hit File and Save. It's gonna save this photograph and bring it over into Lightroom so we can finish up with anything we need to do with this photograph. And here you can see we're back in Lightroom. Uh, if we look at the photograph that we had changed, this is what we sent to Lightroom or to Photoshop. And this is what we received back after we made the changes. So before, and you can see we have a tilt to the right. We have a little uh, skew here uh, uh, with our flagpole. It's not, you know, uh, up and down straight 180 degrees. And we have a little tilt here. We took it in the Photoshop and transformed it. Now our lighthouse is uh, level. Our flagpole is level. Our horizon is level. We have a really good picture to work from. I hope this helps you out when you have any problems with perspective. If you have any questions on how to use this tool or any of the options while you're using the tool, send me an email and I'd be glad to help you out. I'll talk to you all soon.